Welcome to New Zealand Loyal's broadcast in which, as I promised a week ago today, I will be outlining in broad brushstrokes the policies of our party, the policies to serve the people of New Zealand at the next election. This next election in October 2023 is not only the most important election of all our lives, I believe it's the most important election in the history of this country. Will we retain our nationhood, our sovereignty, our independence, or will we allow ourselves to be gobbled up by globalists and forces that are not yet fully disclosed to us, but which many of us who have done our research are now aware are lurking greedily in the background? The justice system, that will be set right. All current courts shall continue to deal with all corporate entities, companies, organisations and others. But cases against people will be heard in superior common law courts and not be caught up in the current fraud taking place where there exists presumption in skillfully tricking you into believing you are bound by their application. You are not a straw man. You are not a legal fiction. You are a living being, man or woman, a living being. And this will be taught and explained to all Kiwis to empower and free the people from yet more lies. Unless there is a victim, there can be no crime. You shall no longer be used as a government cash cow or to bolster the coffers of other state agencies. Coming from a background in law, as I do, steeped in the traditional ways of the New Zealand legal system. It has been a huge bridge for me to cross, and I can now see how important it is to help others to understand the nuanced weaponization of our legal system against us. A higher law, fully entrenched constitution, shall be proposed to you, the people, seeking your valuable input. It will be a constitution that effectively limits the powers of government and it will enshrine and protect our God-given natural rights and it will hold them inviolate. We will also criminally investigate all who have acted against the people of this nation whether dealing with historical or recent crimes, these investigations will not be characterised by the usual vacuous lip service, the whitewashes and the intentionally toothless terms of reference of recent token government inquiries. Instead, they shall be credible. Their scope shall be wide and deep. No area will be off limits or exempt from scrutiny. The jab injuries and deaths, the Lake Alice investigation, which needs to be reopened, the bribery, the corruption, the treason, and the crimes against humanity. These are all the main areas in need of thorough sunlight and justice. All whistleblowers will receive full protection for telling the rest of us about the wrongdoings you have witnessed. The whistleblowers will be the heroic ones helping us to clean up our country from within. You can research the OPAL files yourselves if you wish to get some idea of the depths of corruption within New Zealand over the years. And always trust that the truth shall set you, shall set us all free. We often hear that the children are our future, a lovely political byline that means nothing now because nothing good ever really comes from government to ensure that our children inherit, actually inherit, a healthy, happy, safe and prosperous future. It's meaningless verbiage that we've heard from every politician. The future of our children is not for sale, leverage or negotiation. We shall also protect them from all means of exploitation, Please watch the Posey Parker Ross Campbell piece on Free NZ Media's Rumble channel. You will begin to understand the dark corruptions being pushed at our children in our schools and also the viral sharing of the Sound of Freedom film is on the web 
and it too is essential viewing if you want to understand what is really going on. We at New Zealand Loyal have the solutions. They are real, they're tangible. We just need you. We need you to engage. We need you to research. Most of all, we need you to be loyal Kiwis. We have no desire to appease, accommodate or negotiate with the current criminal elements that infect the New Zealand Parliament like parasites. We are here to end their reign of tyranny. We hereby contract with you, the people, to guarantee we shall never work against your interests. Quite the opposite. We guarantee to serve you, to work for you, and when you give us the majority after this upcoming election, to achieve everything we have stated we shall do, not to try to achieve it, to actually accomplish it, while at the same time consulting with and listening to the voices and views of you, the people. If you want a country where you're respected, left to pursue your happiness unimpeded, without causing harm to another or to their property, then you must vote for these visions and these undertakings. You must stand with us and choose loyalty to the people and not to the globalists. If we're to win this war, we must combat their war machine in which their mainstream media is one of their most potent deployments. This is where you enter the digital battle space and combat the agenda-driven propaganda plague. Turn off the news. Don't watch the rubbish at 7 p.m. Stop buying the mainstream newspapers or listening to the bias and lies on Radio New Zealand. We're in a state of emergency and we need to stand up and we need to fight. This is it. This election. It's our last chance to change the ruthless, greedy, gobbling, globalist momentum. The mainstream media is totally collapsed into globalism and censorship of the truth, but we, the people, can share the truth on social media, person to person. Please, today, ensure that you share this message to all you can, but share it if possible person to person, and private group to private group. The government is gagging and issuing gagging orders for loyal. Clearly those orders have already gone out to Facebook. In a way it's an inverse compliment to us. We're only 10 days into being an, a really viable political party in this country, only 10 days old, and yet they are scared of people coming together behind loyal. Many reporters, many supporters report to us that the first two messages we've already put out are, for example, stopping halfway through, or sometimes they'll share them on their pages and get a warning when there's no reason to put a warning out there. This is meant to be a free and fair election. Why is the government already playing dirty via its very collapsed Facebook? Why the interference? And did the government interfere with the setting up of our New Zealand Loyal sign-up page? We can't know at this stage, but certainly constant IT issues have been markedly on the rise for us. And here's another question. Why was the weekly Monday night podcast I do with Teacher Joe, Farmer James and Just Jono removed within an hour of it going out last week? All we were doing was being for slightly excitable, happy friends sharing that excitement and our vision for the New Zealand we could all envisage building once this election is won by the people. It was a joyful podcast, it was positive and it was funny, yet the whole episode totally evaporated with no warning. I say this to the government, your censorship shall only make us more determined and it also highlights to all of us the corruptions behind the silencing of our voices. 
For three years, Kiwis have hated being censored. There will be no more censorship when we win. There will also be no propaganda departments. You don't need PR spin doctors when you tell the truth. It's simple. You don't need to shape the message. You stand up and you talk honestly to the people from your heart. We'll fully investigate just how many propagandists the, the New Zealand taxpayer has been paying under this Labour Greens government. I think the numbers will horrify us all. There will also be open and uncensored and unfettered choice in the health area. The oppressive Therapeutic Goods Act will be relegated to the dustbin of bad ideas and unnecessary state busybodying. Why should we not be free to choose openly differing forms of medicines for our own bodies, not just big pharma drugs with their now very questionable research and money-driven motives? We will encourage a flowering of herbalists and osteopaths and homeopaths and acupuncturists and Ayurvedic doctors and many other modalities in New Zealand. We'll openly discuss and research the vast and lately very much hidden benefits of health modalities that lie far beyond the limited, profit-driven, big pharma suppressions of information. All of this and much more when you give New Zealand Loyal one chance and one term. And perhaps beyond that, when we do what no other has done in this country before, and that is free it. When you vote, please do not mail in your ballots. The voting machines used in America are what we have here also. You know what that could mean. There is a reason Jacinda wanted us all voting early last time, so that there would be fewer in-person votes on paper on the day. In-person votes are able to be clearly counted, but rather the early votes were taken in on corruptible machines. Don't fall for that again. Make sure you vote on the day and, in addition, take a picture of your ballot. And as well as that, please volunteer to be scrutineers and personally take down the tallies of your voting station. Be part of this election. Please, you must vote. Do not let another dictator be installed in this country. Countries around the world will be watching New Zealand. I've said it before, we, this plucky little country, and us in loyal New Zealand doing it basically until now on a piece of number eight wire, we can be the David to their Goliath. I, like you, am deeply loyal to this country. I'm deeply loyal to you, the people. And I love and respect and value and treasure our Kiwi way of life. So let's send a message to those who believe we are a nation of apathetic sheep with no backbone. Get up with me and get ready for the greatest political upset ever witnessed in this country. By voting New Zealand loyal, you will be voting for your life, your freedom and your future. And for, perhaps above all, the future of your family and your children. We are the ones to blame for losing control of our lives under this unpleasant and corrupted Labour Greens government in the last three years. So let's together make damn sure we never lose that control again. Over the next fortnight, we'll be providing details of exactly how we achieve what we have stated here in this overview of New Zealand oil policy. We're also currently appointing the board and drawing up the party constitution, we're then going to begin shoulder tapping the right candidates to go before the board for selection. I cannot thank enough the thousands and thousands of you who have viewed the New Zealand Loyal website, who have offered donations to help us get started, who have signed up as valuable paid members and contributors. So many of you have written in offers of ways in which you would like to help and that's beyond the donations you've given us as well. Please, if you are not yet signed up as a paid member, sign below and share this message to as many people as you possibly can, 
preferably, as I said earlier, person to person, to outsmart the ruthless government censorship machine. Together our love for our country and ultimately our love for each other as Kiwis will win over all the evils and deviousness they have unleashed on us relentlessly for the last three years. And when we choose to vote loyal in vast numbers, this party representing the power back to the people principle will ensure that, I hope, I pray, that all current 120 politicians are ousted in October. I hope Labour is never again voted in in New Zealand. From there, we, the people, can begin again. And with respect and listening and decency to one another and morality and courage, we can build the country we want to leave to our children's children. I'm Liz Gunn. I'm ready to reclaim our nation. Are you? Please be loyal.